Hi everyone, it's Vicki. I want to welcome you back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm vlogging every day in April. Sorry. This is really a lot of fun and it keeps me connected to uh, this really great community here on YouTube and I love that. That's one of the big reasons why I'm on here is just for the community uh, aspect and staying connected. I've made so many YouTube friends here so I'm so excited. So if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you like, subscribe and ring the bell uh, so that I can call you my YouTube friend. <laughs> so okay, now uh, today's going to be a Dollar Tree shopping haul, but it's all around hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. Last I checked the migration map uh, because they are migrating now. I'm in Colorado. I am super excited, but we haven't seen any in our backyard yet. And it's really dry here. I can't plant any flowers, so I can't put color in my backyard um, with flowers. I, I've got green. Um, luckily, the new neighbors that moved in behind us and kind of corner to the corner, they have this fabulous red, reddish umbrella, uh, patio umbrella, and I'm so excited because hummingbirds love that color. Uh, so, I mean, they just love bright colors. But uh, red's always a color that gets their attention. Uh, I, I don't know if that's actually true or a myth, but all the feeders are always red. So uh, I know for us, when we go camping, we used to have a red little pathfinder, and we always had tons of hummingbirds around. Uh, even though the other campers would not have any at their feeders, we always had tons because we had this bright red pathfinder. Now we have a really big uh, red canopy, like the, the Sears, Craftsman brand. It's a really good one. And we did that because that helps attract the hummingbirds. So, all right. I um, am on a mission because I checked the migration map this morning at, at hummingbirdcentral.com. If you're wanting to follow that, go check them out. Uh, and they have recipes and everything too. So I've talked about that. I'm not going to go into that right now. Uh, but if you want to attract hummingbirds, you want to put some color in your yard. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in a really cheap way. <laughs> so, uh, but check the hummingbird map. Um, they're right now they've had they've spotted several, like four of them in northern New Mexico, and they've spotted a couple. Or people are reporting that they're seeing them. So we don't really know. I mean, a lot of people probably don't report when they see a hummingbird. So it's not really completely accurate, of course. But on the map, two hummingbird sightings have been reported up near Denver, and four have been reported in northern. Uh, New Mexico so I know there's hummingbirds between those two spaces and that's where I'm living so I'm on a mission to make sure these hummingbirds if they are thirsty they know they have a place to come and have some uh, I call it the, my little hummingbird cafe because they're migrating and they are going to just want to replenish on their migration uh, some of them will stick around uh, all year here um, but um, but right now it's mainly we're focusing on the birds that are flying through so I've got two hummingbird feeders up right now I'm changing them out every three days because you do not want to leave your hummingbird feeders sitting longer than that without for, you know freshening it up and it's cheap enough to buy some sugar and water I don't use food coloring at all just water sugar and um, I bump the my I, I'm doing a little bit stronger Humming, hummer juice right now because of the migration. I like to put a little more sugar in there. So I'm doing uh, three parts, well, three parts water, one part sugar. So usually I do four parts water, um, four parts water, one part sugar. If you want to make hummer juice, it's very easy. I'm going to do a different video on the recipe, but go to Hummingbird Central. I have no affiliation with that site whatsoever, except that I'm a fan. Go to that site. They have everything on there that you need. So anyway, okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I bought from Dollar Tree to brighten up my yard. Oh, on another note, um, I hung my hummingbird feeder up the other day, and I showed you guys a glimpse of it. And uh, but I wanted you to know, I it was kind of high to the ceiling of my deck. I did lower it, and I'll show you a clip here because you don't want your hummingbird feeder too close to the top. To the I, at least my experience is they don't they like it a little bit lower, uh, not too close to the roof. So um, they're very cautious little birds. So anyway. Uh, check that out. Um, I'll show you. I did lower it a little bit, which I knew when I hung it um, the other, when I first hung it, I was going to have to lower it. So I did do that. Okay, so let me show you what I got. 
Everything's a dollar, of course, a Dollar Tree. Now, this is just a little wind twister spiral thing. I This is going to be really cute. I'm going to hang this somewhere in my yard, probably off of a shepherd's hook or something, or a tree. This will give a splash of color to my yard. And I picked up uh, two of these. Well, these were in the Easter section, by the way, and I picked up a couple of these. I'm going to put those in my yard. I thought this was cute. I'm going to put this somewhere. I'll show you guys on a different video. I'll give you a tour of my yard. I'm in the process of cleaning it up. And I did get some little Easter eggs, and uh, they have, they're on little sticks. And I'm probably just going to stick these in planters or something like that inside my home because uh, these really are just styrofoam, so I won't put them out in the yard. And I got a couple of these. My in-laws used to love um, little pinwheels, and so and these are just so cute. So they're adorable. And I got this one because hummingbirds like red. I think they seem to. <laughs> they just like bright colors. Did you know they they can't smell? So um, they don't. It's not that they are drawn to the scent of the flower. They. It's, from what I understand, they don't, I'm no expert, but on the research I've done, they can't smell, but they're attracted to the color. Uh, I did get these. I don't like a lot of fake flowers around, but if I do get them, I like them to look sort of natural. So I did get these, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I thought they were really, really pretty. I might end up using these inside my home. And I got uh, some more of these and um, for inside the home. I bought these before, but they're on a little strand, and I just pulled, they're like on a little ribbon, they're all attached. I just took them off, and I just set them around the house, individu like little individually clutches, little clutches of eggs, like in a grouping of maybe three or so. I think they're really cute. And I got um, a uh, garden uh, flag, so I got one of these. Oh, and here's another flower I got at the Dollar Tree. So I did have to go buy a hook in the Dollar Tree. I couldn't find any hooks there or, you know, like a flag holder. Uh, so I ended up going to Big Lots, but I'm going to do that on a different, um, a different shopping haul. And I got some clingy eggs because as you can see back here, I like to put them everywhere. <laughs> I put them on the bathroom mirrors and, you know, they're just cute. So... All right, I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. I got some of these clips, too. Uh, you can't have too many of these, right? They're little power clips. Six for a dollar, and we use these to clip bags of chips and crackers and things like that. So, all right, that's my shopping haul. Um, and I have to do a little mom brag moment before I go. Um, my daughter, and if, I'll try to show a clip here of her because uh, you haven't seen her. And uh, she did drop by the other day to say hi to us. So I wanted to introduce you to my daughter. Meet Jamie. She's um, the love of my life, her and my son, and of course my husband. Uh, so um, I'm really, really proud of her. She works hard. She, um, so, but we found out she did pass her test uh, for the, she's got a red flag certification thingy, whatever, you know, whatever that, I'm not quite sure what that means, except it entails a very physical test, and she's a volunteer firefighter, and um, so now she's eligible to go fight wildfires. Now, she has helped a lot in uh, wildfires, or fires, here in Colorado. Uh, she's volunteered for that, and, um, but she did pass her, her certification to now, uh, she can be called up to go and fight uh, wildfires. At the same time, it makes me very nervous to think that my baby's out there fighting fires, but this is her life, you know, and it's her passion. And she's, you know, shared stories with me that kind of freak me out, but uh, I would never deny her um, living her life the way that she wants to because, um, you know, life's too short. So, yeah, but I'm very, very proud of her. I know she's she works hard and um, she works, you know, a full-time job, does volunteer firefighting, and goes to school. So I'm really, really proud of her. So, okay, that's my mom brag moment. And now, um, I guess I'm going to let you guys go. But yeah, let me know if you guys are trying to attract hummingbirds. And if you've seen any, I would love to know that. Because, um, you know, and you know, if you do see one, go over to the Hummingbird Central, uh, humming, hummingbirdcentral.com, 
and you will see the um, a place where you can actually report your hummingbird sightings there. It's really fun. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Um, like a uh, canopy thing. It's a red, like, uh, what do you call it? It's like, like a canopy. We bought it. It's red. Uh, it's but I've bumped it up to three parts water, one part sugar. So I hope that makes sense. God, every time I talk about the recipe, I get it. Ugh, this is why I don't do math. Ugh, okay, I never get this right. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to. Aren't these cute? Let me see if I can get them both spinning. Nah, I can't get them both spinning. Woo. Nah, okay, anyway. <laughs>